What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are gonna be notified every time we upload new content. Now if you can't tell, we're out here at the beautiful sandbar here on Lake Hickory. It's where we come out and always do our treasure hunting after a major holiday. By the time you guys see this video, it'll probably be early to mid August. It's actually the day after the 4th of July. But uh, we're out here doing some treasure hunting and Miss Carol here, one of the newest dive masters, actually came across a boat while treasure hunting. And it's a boat that I've never seen. I've been diving this lake for 34 years, been treasure hunting this lake or this sandbar for 34 years, and I've never seen it. So we're not quite sure how long it's been there. Um, I have got one of my other instructors down marking it and doing some filming for us just to see what it looks like. But yeah, I'm gonna show you some underwater footage of it. And then maybe one day we'll come back out and we'll do a little exp or exploration on it and try to determine how long it's been there. So guys, this is going to be a relatively short dive real quick because we're just doing an inspection or uh, an investigation here just to see um, what the boat is. And we're going to try to get some information for local officials too, such as hole numbers and things like that. But basically in short, we were out doing some treasure hunting and one of our newest dive masters came across a vessel that was underwater. And she didn't really think to mark it uh, because she assumed that it was something we dove all the time. And to be honest, none of our crew has ever seen this vessel out here at the sandbar before. So we ran some sonar of the area. We actually located on sonar. It is in an area that's relatively shallow. And the sandbar, of course, is where people uh, anchor up all the time for fun in the sun, you know, during the summertime and stuff. So it is in an area that could potentially be a hazard to someone who is jumping in and things like that. But we did mark it on sonar. We've got the GPS coordinates of it. And we threw a buoy in, which you saw there right when my instructor jumped in. But he's going to go down and he's going to do a quick inspection of it and just see all the different information he can get off of it. We do plan on running this with local officials too to see if it's been reported stolen or anything like that. But our main goal of this dive is just to see what condition it's in, to see what's on it, to see if maybe somebody went down with it and try to try to determine you know how long it's been there and what made it go down as well who knows it may end up being a good dive site for us here in the very near future but if you're familiar with our sandbar you'll know that there's several buoys that are out there to mark the actual sandbar the shallow part of the area and this vessel is not far away from those buoys at all um, so you can see as we come up on it here um, other than have some lake sludge on it it's actually in really really good shape doesn't appear to be any damage on the vessel anywhere um, there were no holes in the vessel that we could find anything like that uh, we were able to determine that the vessel has been stripped that means there's no mo motor or uh, outboard or inboard engine with it um, the bow does appear to be covered on it as well the numbers here I'll go ahead and uh, tell you we have ran the numbers we've had local officials run these numbers and they are coming back fictitious so we don't know if this this vessel was stolen and put new numbers on and then somebody just wanted to get rid of it and sink it um, but it, there's no no record of these these hold numbers here on the on the side of the vessel but you can see it does have some growth on it uh, by my estimations I would say that it's been here 
for probably about six months. It's got all this algae growth. It's got all this sealed in it, um, which there's a couple of possibilities. One, this vessel could have been down there for a very, very long time, hence why there's no record of those numbers. Um, and it's just come unearthed. You know, through erosion, it's just come unearthed and it started to appear. Um, number two, somebody had it in a different part of the lake and they moved it to this area, um, which is a, a high possibility that happens a lot. Maybe somebody's cleaning out around their dock area or whatnot, um, and which would kind of explain all the growth and stuff on it. Um, number three, it was just taken out there and just sunk. Um, and it doesn't take this algae growth that long to actually grow. So it looks like there's a lot of growth in it, but to be honest, a couple of months that would have overtaken that vessel very easily. But yeah, it's a duo, I believe is the manufacturer of the vessel here, a duo. Um, we are going to make a another dive very in the very near future on this vessel just to see if we can get the actual uh, numbers off the transom to maybe run those to see if we can figure out who it belongs to. Um, but like I said, the NC hole numbers there, they, they came back in fictitious or invalid according to local officials. So we don't know that much about it. But yeah. As of right now, it's going to be a new dive site for Lake Hickory Scuba to go out and take divers on. We can do rec diver courses here. It's a relatively shallow water, so it's going to be an easy dive. And you can make two dives out of it. You can dive on the boat and do a little bit of treasure hunting out at the sandbar as well. So it's going to be a great little site to uh, actually go out and dive. Um, now we have notified the correct officials as far as that it's there, that it could be a possible hazard in the waterway. So we'll wait and see what they say. They may want to you know, hire us to get it out of the water. They may say, nope, it's deep enough, just leave it be. Um, based off the fluctuation of the, the water itself and how deep it stays when Duke Fire drains and fills up the lake again, who knows, it may be a hazard, maybe just fine. We'll just wait and see what they say with us. But, um, but yeah, this is the mystery boat that was located here on our sandbar on Lake Hickory during our uh, annual treasure hunt after the 4th. So it's a pretty neat boat to go dive. Like I said, there's no motor or engine or gas tank or anything like that in it. It's just the shell of it. Looks like it's been completely stripped. Um, everything's coming back fictitious, but it is a cool little dive site to go check out. It's got pretty good growth on it. Easy dive for a new diver to go look at? Yeah, easy. 16 yeah. feet, 16, 18 feet. Well, Miss Carol found it. Jason confirmed it and marked it. And we're going to come back and explore it in another video. All right, guys, so there you go. Got done treasure hunting. Of course, we found a boat. Um, we are going to run the hole numbers on this vessel uh, just to see if maybe it was reported stolen. Maybe somebody tried to commit insurance fraud or something. But it does appear like it's been down there for quite a while. Even though we've never seen it, there's a lot of times things just come uncovered when they're underwater. So we're going to do a little bit more exploring on it. And if you're in this area and you want to come out, come by and see us. We'll give you the coordinates for it and you can go out and dive it as well. Because I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it as well. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate, appreciate your business. business.